Hi there, this is Sky Guyer from Bus Safety Solutions. This is a mock-up of a Bluebird without a center third rib. And we're doing this installation instructions in order to make sure you guys have a smooth install on this particular model. It will differ slightly from the instruction manual that you will have. So we're going to show exactly how you need to do this install in order to make it smooth. Uh, over to the left, we've got a uh, example of paper door over there and then we're showing the ribs along with that 9 and 3 8 inch distance in between the or bottom of the uh, stop arm frame and the and the top of that lower rib. I'm going to introduce Bob Geyer the inventor and Rich Pater our senior mechanic. So the first thing you need to do is move this um marker light which is here and we aren't moving it anything that will uh, deter from meeting the regulations this is going to go from here down to here and there's plenty of wire inside in the bus area you redrill a hole here and plug this one and we have a plug we'll send you up which is this here it's a 5 8 inch hole you're going to put that plug in it'll match it up exactly it'll it'll be exactly what they're asking for to happen next thing we want to do is we need to move this whole unit so we have to move it slightly to the left to your right um, four inches so you can measure from where this is but it'll really be four inches from the edge of the door to give us just a little bit of clearance and so we're bringing this down and at the point when you're moving this, you have wire and you have hose underneath here that you're going to have to work with. So while you have it up and disconnected, we'll want to attach a new hose for the air. The electrical wiring has plenty of stuff and you know how these snap in for the air hose. There's no problem with that part of the installation. This represents the whole that goes into the bus, the airline, your electrical wire goes. When you go to take this off, you know how they coil up the electrical wire either inside of this top part or inside of the bus. And in either way, just uh, take off the twist ties that are on it and release some more electrical wire so you got something to play with and you can move it in in place easily. With that done, we want to come back about four inches from the edge of the electrical panel door to the edge of this and that'll give you enough room to do everything you need to do. From that point the first thing that goes on of our system is a vertical support brace and this looks like this. We're going to come down we're going to butt up tight to this edge here and this this will leave it about an inch and three eighths inch and a half inches from the edge from the edge of this piece here of your rib up to where the hole is. This needs to be exactly um, parallel to the opening of the door or to some other uh, line spacing on your bus so that you have a right angle formed here when you're done. The first thing after that goes on is Rich will put on the uh, hinge piece itself. When it's packed you have a when it's packed we have a nylon washer on here and then this so that the nylon washer stays where it belongs all the time and he's going to insert, insert it in here. And come down a little bit here. It is a snug fit because this is designed to hold it forever. 
A cutter key goes in at this spot, so you've got a nylon washer, then this, then you tighten it up with your Allen wrench. Uh, I didn't show you at first, but you have three support places here. You can anchor in either with sheet metal screws or nut certs. We prefer to put a nut cert in at least the top one, and then two uh, one inch number 12 uh, sheetrock. Sheet rock self-tapping screws in there. Next goes on your lower bracket support and again when it comes, it comes with the nylon washer on first and then that so it stays there in position. You reverse those so you have the bearing on first. This supports the uh, frame itself when it's in operation so you want it to come down like that. This will end up being approximately right at the top of this rib. In fact, you can probably assume that it's going to be exactly there. You'll tighten in those things each time. Uh, this now has to be a right angle here to here. So when you're putting this on, don't push it up against the uh, bracket or you're going to be, uh, you won't be in a perpendicular in here Rich. There we go. Situation. Okay. With that installed, the next part we put on is the year unit. Rich is going to show you that. Okay, so what he did is he placed this in an approximate position. We put in a 7 16 bolt here, which will have on a lock nut on the bottom when you're done. This will connect up to here with a shear, with a uh, clevis pin. Can you give me a clevis pin here? This will also stay approximately even with the bottom of this. You just want these to be uh, fairly smooth. You don't want to scrunch them up against here underneath there. And you don't want to stretch them out forever either. You just want to have a comfortable distance. And then we want to install our electrical wiring and the air hose that comes from our unit. Down through here we'll run a uh, loom there. We've already put the uh, loom clamps on here. Pull over some more, about six, six or more inches if we need. Or more than that. You can cut this off to the exact length, whatever you want. We'll give you plenty. Then your loom is going to go down into the original hole where the uh, grommet is, so you can have everything attached right, and then this will be clamped down tight. You're going to insert your air hose from here inside of the loom at the point where you can break in at any at any spot. You, know, you guys know how to insert that into the loom. It just splits open easy. So now you have your air hose in there, the electrical red electrical wire that comes through there. It's in here, everything's coming down here, our electrical, our air hose as well, and we show that more in the installation manual. At that point, then we're going to install, I'm going to take this out temporarily. We're going to install the frame. It 
and holds this and then we're going to put on a short frame here electrical wiring will go from here take the cell down bridge for a second inside of your electrical box here you have the other end of this which will be going through this loom and back and out and around and let me have that again let's see and connect into here and you can see it that goes into there and this is a weather tight rubber size seal uh, and that should complete your thing and if you have any questions holler